and it's walked away down the microtubules and it's walked away. I mean, it's that mechanical. It's molecular clockwork. This is how you work at the molecular scale. I mean, they've got their long legs so they can step around obstacles and so on. And this is all derived accurately from the science. So with a little bit of molecular eye candy, um, we've got kinesins, which are the orange ones. They're little uh, molecular courier molecules walking one way. And here are the dynein. They're carrying that very broadcasting system. So this is a single chromosome. And you have two strands of DNA in each chromosome. One is bundled up into one sausage. The other strand uh, is bundled up into the other sausage. These things that look like whiskers that are sticking out from either side are the dynamic scaffolding of the cell. Um, they're called microtubules, but the name's not so important. But what we're going to focus on is this red region. I've labeled it red here. And it's the interface between the dynamic scaffolding and the chromosomes. It is obviously central to the movement of the chromosomes. But we have no idea really, as to how it's achieving that movement. We've been studying this thing called the kinetic core for over 100 years with intense study, and we're still just beginning to discover what it's all about. It is made up of about 200 different types of proteins, thousands of proteins in total. It is a signal broadcasting system. It broadcasts through chemical signals, telling the rest of the cell when it's ready, when, when it feels that everything is aligned and ready to go for the separation of the chromosomes. It is able to couple onto the growing and shrinking microtubules. It's transiently, it's, it's, it's involved with the growing of the microtubules, and it's able to transiently couple onto them. It's also a tension sensing system. It's able to feel when the cell is ready, when, when the chromosome is correctly positioned. It's turning green here because it, it feels that everything is just right. And you'll see that there's one little last bit that's still remaining red. 